What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Match Right Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And in this review, I'm going to talk about the game Utopia 2, which was released on the Turbo Graphics 16 by Hudson Soft. And this game is pretty much a sequel to the first Utopia game and all of that. And of course, like the first Utopia game, Utopia 2 is pretty much um, is pretty much influenced by the Legend of Zelda franchise in the Bible. Pretty much a lot of elements from that particular franchise, mainly the Zelda games with the top down view, like um, the first Zelda game and Link to the Past and all that. Now, um, the plot of the game is that uh, Durf, um is plotting his return after he was defeated by Jarcita from the last game and everything, but at the same time, Jacita himself got um, lost in a labyrinth in a unnamed foreign land and everything. And now Jacita's son is not now on a mission to defeat Dirth and look for his father at the same time. Now, um, one thing I can honestly say about Utopia Two that separates itself from um, the first game is that. Notopia 2 pretty much has the um, RPG trope of um, allowing you to name the main character and all that, like some like some of the game within the um, Pokemon franchise and the uh, Final Fantasy franchise. And the gameplay didn't change all that much outside of the fact that you can swing your uh, sword in eight different directions instead of four and everything. And there's a lot of items that you get throughout the course of the game, like the silver coins, gold coins, magic uh, rings, you know, uh, money sacks, um, heart wings of return, bombs, our glass, and icicles and stuff like that. Now, of course, with the coins and money back and stuff, you can go to different um, uh places to buy like different items like potions and bombs and stuff like that when you need them and everything now some of the characters from the um uh, where well, some of the enemies rather um that was in the first utopia game pretty much make a return like bats ghosts and ghosts and blobs and stuff like that now um Utopia 2 has a new slew of bosses and everything, like a robot boss, uh, um, producer boss, robot boss, and octopus, octopus boss, and different bosses like that. So, of course, the only one that makes a return will be Dirk himself and everything. And um, pretty much, you pretty much find each of the, each boss in the cave pretty much like. The, like the um top down Zelda game and all that where you where you implement the strategy to take them out and stuff like that and um pretty much you travel to different locations like um the Mont Manton Labyrinth the Twin Labyrinth the Alt the Atra uh, Labyrinth and places like that you know what I'm saying it has the like that open world vibe. I would say not technically open world five, but it's pretty similar to Zelda where you can um get specific items to like to get to uh, the next spot and everything. Now the graphics and design for Utopia Two are pr pretty good with some nice color palettes and all that, and the controls and gameplay are good and simplistic and everything. Like I said, the only thing. That they did with it is this: you can now uh, swing and swing the swing the sword in eight di different directions instead of four. The soundtrack is pretty good and, and it fits the tone of the game and all that. But outside of the um the game one gameplay improvement that I've noticed with the sword, um they didn't do like anything else with with um the Topia too. So my main gripe with Utopia 2 is the fact that Hudson Soft didn't really take any big risk with Utopia 2, you know what I'm saying? It's not like, uh, say, like what Nintendo did to Zelda or the Metroid franchise where they take took some big risks in certain areas with each, with each 
um, entry in those franchises and stuff. And I wish that Hudson Soft did it with um, Utopia 2 and everything. Now, that is practically a minor gripe that I have with Utopia 2. If they um, put, took some big risks, they would have been like, uh, like way better than um, Utopia 1 and everything. But Utopia 2 is still a good game. And I would pretty much recommend it to anybody who is a retro gamer and stuff. As far as score, I definitely give it an 8 out of 10 and stuff. Now, with that being said, you can sound off in the comment section about Notopia 2, whether you like it, whether you think it's better than the first Notopia game, whatever the case may be. And if you like this video, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, signing off.